Yeah, my wonderful people. Just in a breaking news, oh, this one is ha happening at the Bakasi Peninsula. Um, uh, on our way, oh, the Cameroonian uh, Air Force, they don't uh, target our men, the Biafran Nations League, oh, they take them on our way, as I'm talking to you now. They don't bring down or send uh, most of our Biafran Nations League uh, gallant men in front line to Elohim without judgment. -y. And I saw the team take uh, and I saw the tech talk ammo. This one is part of the news we are going to treat this morning. In another development, this one oh, they say that anything that APC cannot do does not exist. APC is the only party that came out now to cascade their own party. You know, earlier on when people was complaining, pro Buari, pro Buari, they say no, he never done anything, he did well. Now the so-called president don't come out now and said I inherited. Serious liabilities from Buhari. Just a couple of nights ago, the National Security Advisor, which is Nuri Ribadu, said Nigeria is broke from the past government. Then instead of the so-called president now to probe the past administration, because now an ally, he go, went ahead to arrest MFLA and uh, Bawa, using them as a scapegoat to cover up all the crimes that the Buhari committed during his eight years in office as the so-called Nigeria tyrant president of the Flannery Control Government of Nigeria. Thank you for you to come out now to tell us this. But we are waiting the day you will question Buhari on what happens to Nigerian money. What happens to the oil he sold for complete good eight years which they, that, they, that they can never account for. I to God, who says there's no God? The God is working. Nam the kind of made it clear to each and every one who cares to listen that it's either you let the difference go or Somalia will be better than Nigeria. I beg you, make an ass on our people where they watch me. We truly know the, 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 the importance of keeping record or believing in prophecies. Is Master Nam the kind not a hero? Is Somalia now not better than Nigeria in all ramifications? Gone blessing every every now and then. Nigeria is the only country that when you are sleeping now, you don't even know where, whether you are going to wake up tomorrow or not. Or maybe you are sleeping in your home, you don't even know where, when you are going to wake up tomorrow. Either you wake up in the grave or you wake up in a mortuary or the person might wake up in a in a in a very physical condition in a hospital. Nigeria is the only place that going out now, you're going out is not guaranteed, even coming back is not guaranteed. In your own house. You are not safe. Is it that not is that not something that have happened in Somalia? Even as I'm talking to you now, Somalia is 100 percent or 1,000 percent more than Nigeria in terms of peace and also in terms of uh, uh, security. Nandekano, you are a hero indeed. I'm not gonna see them. You are inherited liabilities from Buhari. <laughs> Thank God nobody, uh, nobody they call a PDP now because during the time of Buhari it was Hey, Jonathan, uh, OBJ, Yara Tua, they killed Nigeria. Now, I'm very, very happy that this one is playing out. Let me see whether all this mumu that the so-called followers of the APC or followers of whoever it is will still be happy hearing this nonsense from you people. You refuse to probe the past administration. Now you are coming to tell us that you inherited liabilities. That liability is not gonna kill you there. Anyway, my wonderful people are back. If you get this message, help me like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. If this is your first time of hearing my voice and you never subscribe, I don't know what you're waiting for. Please subscribe to my channel uh, so that you're gonna get information. Make sure you turn on the not not notification icon. At least that will enable you to know each time we go live or we post something new on this channel. Biafra Nations League Operational Coordinator Escape Dev. In the hands of a, a Cameroonian Air Force. Cameroonian Air Force have reportedly carried out another air strike in the Eastern Gele area of the Bakasi Peninsula, killing two of the Black Marine militants. The incident happened around 11 a.m. on Tuesday, November 14, 2023. Get this information straight. On Tuesday, November 14, 2023. Reports say that the aircraft come round the creeks very low, dropping explosives and sending our men.
to try uh, uh, to, to, to Elohim without trials. Attempt to blow up the military camp proved abortive due to the heavy gunfire from the camp targeting the aircraft. They want to shut the aircraft down. The personal coordinator of the Biafra Nations League, BNL, Henry Edet, is reportedly to have escaped death, having come out from an emergency meeting of a Biafra Nations, Le uh, Nations League uh, yesterday morning in Isengale before the airstrikes. According to them, they say dozens of residents of Idabato were arrested by the gender marine and taken into custody following allegations they were linked to the Biafran separatists. Former Bakasi freedom fighters have also condemned arrest, calling on Cameroonian authority to release all arrested persons, or they what, or they will face the wrath of the Biafran Nations League. Are we not fighting war? Let me ask, is Somalia no better than Nigeria? I ask this question again, and I need answers. I inherited serious liabilities from Buhari, <laughs> Abado, Oga, Mrs. Bola Ahmed, Degunle Tunumbu, laments. Bola Ahmed, Tunumbu, Adekunle has disclosed that in his administration inherited serious liabilities from Muhammad Buhari's government. It's not up to one year old. They are complaining. Just expect what to, uh, I mean, just think of what to expect in the next coming, uh, at least in the next coming three and a half years. Because let me say, they have stayed only six months and are complaining now. <laughs> the inherited liabilities. And you are buying billions and billions of Naira cars, worth of cars, for the lawmakers and also for the first lady. That is not even constitutional. In a statement on Tuesday by his boss, uh, man, Adri Ngerele, Bola Ahmed Adekule Tunubu made his known on Monday night in Mecca, Saudi Arabia. The so-called president lamented that Nigeria has serious deficit in port, power infrastructure, and agro-allied facilities, saying that his, administ his administration will ensure that all the shortcomings are addressed. <laughs> Bola Ahmed Tunubu said even though his government also inherited assets from his predecessors, he would not make any excuses. He said, we inherited serious liabilities, but also assets from our predecessors. We do not make any excuses. There are several sectors replete with investment opportunities for smart investors. Access to finance and guarantees can be a hindrance in some cases. You can come in there. We see you as a critical enabler. You have partnered with us before. We want to scale it up now and do much more with greater ambition and clear visions. Tunumbu secures multi-billion dollar funding package for infrastructure only on internet. There's no any physical uh, 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 physical part of it. The statement also disclosed that Bola Ahmed Tunumbu advanced negotiations concerning a multi-billion dollar infrastructure finance facility from the Islamic Development Bank to fund a multi-sectorial uh, uh, portfolio of infrastructure projects in Nigeria's federal and sub-national levels. The development resulted from substantive uh, investment discussions held between Bola Ahmed Tunumbu and the Vice President, Country Programs of the Islamic Development Bank, Dr. Menso Mahata. After the so-called president returned from evening prayers in the Saudi Arabia, Nigeria is the candle of the hope, or candle of hope that will light the way for Africa. And once Nigeria is illuminated, the world will be a brighter place for all of humanity. We are determined to create a future, to create a future for our gifted youth. Investment in Nigeria will be among the world's most high yielding investor uh, money will flow easily in and out of our country. Processes will be seamless. And your bank has always been a faithful partner in progress. The statement read by Ajuri Ngelele of the uh, 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 All Poverty Congress APC spokesperson or presidential spokesperson um, or Agbado spokesperson 
Uh, depend on how you want to see it. Well, my wonderful people, I want to know this news of these days. There's no much time to stretch it or to make it a longer one. No, I'm going to make, be making it short by short by short so that when you start the news, you finish it up. That is the most important thing of it. That is why I always, always write, watch till the end because you might not get the wisdom you are looking for at the beginning of the video, but at the end of it, the wisdom, Boku, wisdom, Boku. You get the point now, eh? So let me like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more interesting videos on daily basis because we give back to back and we don't propagate. We give exact news the way it is. So help me please subscribe to my channel and keep sharing. Make sure you keep, you you partake on this our program that is going on. This campaign, I start Biafra to the moon, Biafra to the world, all help Biafra and the mandate of Mazin Namdekano. We all shall stand. I start free Mazin Namdekano now. And so shall it be. And I'll hear my voice again when I come back. Bye for now. Kenesiano.